Please tell when, uh, when the dart is hit dead center of the board, because I just heard it here repeatedly. Uh, and that's when the government gets up and uh, says, there's no problem, and if there is, we'll fix it. And anybody that's complaining about that has just got, you know, problems. And it's a consistent pattern, and after the number of years I've been in this place, uh, I can speak to that pattern. Because as, as the opposition, uh, any member of opposition, brings up issues, the first thing that happens to us um, is that the member, government members say, uh, they, they trivialize the issue. Oh, that's really not a, or it's a labor problem, or that's just not an issue, or I've never heard that, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then they demean the questioner by commenting on their heritage or their ignorance on the subject or uh, their presence or absence in the House or some other thing. So they demean the, the person asking the question, and then finally they diminish the problem. It's really not a big deal. And where have I seen this? Well, I've seen this happen on electricity deregulation. I've seen it happen on ed the education system and teachers uh, in the education system, uh, full day kindergarten. I've seen it happen around a savings plan for the government and royalty rates. I've seen it happen around health care more than once. So it's become a pattern, and it tells me this government's in big trouble. And they've all had very good speaking notes today. My compliments to the Public Affairs Bureau. So what did we actually get out of this report that we are here to talk about this afternoon? Well, what we got was there is a huge problem with wait times in urban emergency rooms. That's in the report. It says there's a problem. It says acute care beds are blocked by seniors, frail, ill seniors who need to be in a care facility with a high enough level of care to look after them. In this system, in this world, in this province, those are called long-term care beds. They're not, they have a medical component to them. That is uh, co-shared uh, between the government and uh, the individuals. This uh, also talked about physician intimidation. Yes, it happened. Yes, people were intimidated. Yes, people were blocked or punished when they tried to advocate for their patients. And it talked about the fact that massive reorganization over and over again in the healthcare system in Alberta destabilized the system and uh, uh, messed up the authority and accountability. So, despite a huge elected majority, despite astonishing revenues in the bank, despite 40 years of control and the power to do what they want to do, this system has suffered, under this government, a series of crises in labour relations, in access and wait times, in cancer treatment times, and in a failure to integrate poverty reduction strategies, mental health...